way too many horror movies to go in there. Everyone knows the Blasio is the first to go. Yeah, I'll be down in just a second. Not one second apiece. Not even a second. Hello? Is there anybody in here? I got a machete. So don't mess with me. Hello? Hello? Uh, oh. oh. Hey, who? Who goes there? It's my castle and I'll defend to the last breath. Who are you? I'm the manager of this building. You're trying to use this place to sleep in? Oh, it's okay, man. I used to be the manager like a long time ago. I'm Jimmy. I don't care if you're the president of the United States. I can't have people back here behind the screens while people are trying to watch movies. Do you think I could get a refill then? Uh, pretty sure you didn't pay for that, so no. But well, you need to go, like, like now. Well then, can you give me a ride to my hotel then? No, not in a million years. Why, why do you have a hotel room? Why are you sleeping down here if you have a hotel room? Fine, man. Whatever. Your popcorn sucks anyway. That's because you're eating it off the ground, you savage. have a large popcorn and please put a ton of butter on it. Like enough to kill a small goat. Don't hold back. Alright, what is butter really? Butter is just a word that we invented. And a lot of how we talk about the world around us shapes our perception of the world around us. For instance, the ancient Greeks didn't really understand the way blue we understand blue today. They thought it was more of like a golden brown, more or less. So, since we have the word blue, we can see the color blue but we might not have all the words for taste and whatnot. So butter might just be butter now because we decided to call it a buttery taste. It could be something entirely different. So my real question is, what do you think butter is? Or does what you think butter is shape what butter is? Or are you simply incapable of keeping up at this fast of a pace? Because you sound really dumb. Why, you arrogant prick. I will not stand here and take this. Where's your manager? Hi there, ma'am. I'm so sorry about the actions of my employee. I just caught the tail end of what he was saying there, and there's no reason you should have had to hear that. Is this how all of your employees act? No, no, I can assure you. No. Brandon, I'm sorry to have to say this, but gather your things and clock out. You're fired. <sighs> thanks, dude. Just thanks. Thanks? Yeah, unemployment checks. Deuces! So, Danny Richards, you've had a lot of interesting jobs. It says here you worked as a pet food tester and as a bug duster at an insect museum and on an ostrich farm. Yep. Can I ask what your job was on the ostrich farm? Sure. I delivered their eggs. Their eggs? Yeah, you know, like, out of the ostriches. Well, I don't know how any of these jobs are going to help you here at the Megaplex. But we did just have a spot open up very recently due to an unfortunate event. Um, well, that's too bad. May I ask what happened? Well, did you hear the news about the crash on the highway involving the chicken truck? Oh, yeah. Who has it? That was a real tragedy. Well, the victim, his name was Brandon Parker. He was an employee that we had here, just recently had to let him go because of the incident with a customer. He gave me no choice. He literally was happy about it. Anyways, on the way home, he got in his car and he ended up crashing into that truck on the highway, crushed by a hundred chickens. Literally, a crappy way to go out. Those cages had to be nasty. But anyways, back to the present. When can you start? Uh, as soon as possible. 
I really, really, really need a job. I mean, I just moved here from Philly and, you know, I definitely need to pay some rent. So, whatever. Well, you're hired. Really? Just like that? Oh my god, thank you so much, Mr. Allen. You're welcome. We'll see how you do. But don't call me Mr. Allen. Call me Rob. Okay, sure. Thank you. All right. Well, we'll start your training today. Derek! Yes, your bossness. What do you desire? Thy will is my command. Thou shall not defy Rob. No, really. What do you want? This is Danny, Brandon's replacement. Danny, this is Derek. He's the assistant manager. I want you to go show him around, introduce him to the crew, and get him a shirt. Uh, okay, new guy. Good. You're wearing black pants already, so your uniform's pretty much complete. Wait, before you go. Here, we can't afford real name tags, so you'll get a new one every day. Especially when I'm not getting paid for it. All right, man. Let me introduce you to everybody. All right. You guys play nice together. Yeah, you too. Yeah. All right, so this is Vinny. He's our designated hey. retiree around this place. Uh, he comes in, what, every once in a while? Watch your mouth, Joey. I prefer sexy senior citizens. And I bet you I got laid more times this week than you're having in your entire life. Keep drinking, Vinny. All right, All let's right. go meet everybody else. You ever try to wake up somebody that's sleepwalking? No, isn't that dangerous? Yeah, but this guy Mitch, it's like when you do it, it it's like that, but for like five seconds. It's just check this out, check it out. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> Avalanche! Not the snow. Anything but the snow. <laughs> oh man. I hate you guys. Uh, Alright everybody, this is Danny. It's his first uh, day, so try to go easy yeah. on him. Um, Danny, this is Mitch. If it seems like yep. he's lazy, that's because he is. Um, and over there by the windows, Johnny. I think his full name is Johnny Holiday. Uh, but you'll quickly learn that that name doesn't sure. really suit him at all. And of course, last but not least, the lovely Riley Rose. Aww, isn't he just a suck up? I've already told you I'm never going on a date with you, so you can quit trying. Yeah, but you know, you can't blame me for always putting in the effort though, right? True. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyways, man, uh, let's go show you the rest of the building. Right. Uh, we can cover over this way, all right? She'll give in one day. Just watch. All right, so there's a total of 42 closets in this place, at least by my count. Okay. All right, some of them got stuff in it, makes them useful. Some of them are entirely useless. Mm -hmm. um, although, you know what? It would make for one really sweet game of hide and go seek. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. That sounds awesome. Have you guys actually <laughs> ever done that? No, actually, no. Oh. Which sucks too, considering this staff, you figure that it would be way more fun than actually working. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Have you guys ever found any customers hiding in the closets? No. Although there was this one time where a blind guy totally walked into one thinking that it was the bathroom. It ruined all the popcorn no. seats, man. Yeah, yeah. I think they got rid of all of them, but there's really no way to ever tell. Well, I hope they did. Yeah, well, only time will tell. All right, so uh, right over there is the soda syrup closet. It's okay. a little tough to say, but... Pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. Um, and then right over here we have cleaning supplies, like paper towels, half shirtless dudes. What's up? What's going on, man? How you doing? Uh, taking a little personal break there, bud? Uh, Christy's in there. Hey, guys. Um, 
I'll be out in a minute. Hey, new guy. Right. Okay, see, so this is what happens when you hire a couple. Um, this is Greg. I'm sure you'll meet Christy momentarily hey, or Mom, something. Or... Nice to meet you. Trust me, you don't want to shake my hand. Well, at least he's honest. Message received. Maybe another time. Yeah. Okay, um, well, we're going to skip some of the rest of these closets just because, uh, I don't know if they're occupied. Uh, but Sounds good to me. We'll head back over this way while he takes a minute to cool his jets, and uh, I'll show you the rest of the place. I think I could get used to it. Plus, the smell of the popcorn, wonderful. Oh no, you're gonna hate that smell in two weeks, guaranteed. Speaking of which, did Joey show you how to work the popper? Nah, it looks dangerous. I'm not trying to burn my face off. Am I gonna look like a zombie or something? No, no, it's simple. You put the salt into the seeds, and then you're gonna put the seeds into there, and then you're gonna hit that red button. That one? Yep, if you mess it up, I really don't think you're cut out for any job ever. Well, I think I can handle it. I'll try really hard not to end up looking like a zombie. Cool, because I'm really not trying to kill you, dude. Puke spill on Theater 5! I'm talking puke everywhere! The top three rows. I think I even saw a tampon up there. I saw some popcorn and some gummy worms. Whose turn is it? Used to be, every time there was a puke spill, everybody ran in opposite directions. Now, we have to take turns so that at least somebody does it. Ah, Danny! The new guy! Yes! It's your turn. But think of it this way. You won't have to do it for a couple of shifts. And yes, it does happen that often. Well, I guess I have no choice. I love this job already. Your soul belongs to the theater now. <laughs> Go get him, Tiger! We believe in you! here and I took a lot of extra time for the lines. I feel like that it gives each one of us an equal amount of time. Mate, those lines look as wavy as the seas I rolled in on. <laughs> <laughs> 